Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today we are taking a look at the Aitzer P20 Plus Laser Engraver. This 20 watt diode laser combines four laser diodes, air assist, offline engraving, and super quick focused adjustments. But how does it compare to its little brother, the Aitzer P10? Let's find out. Before we begin, this P20 Plus laser engraver was sent for me to review by Aitzer. Like all of my other reviews, they aren't paying me for this review, and everything I say is my own honest opinion after using this laser for the last month. My videos do have affiliate links in the descriptions though, so if you purchase anything using those links, it helps support this channel. Let's get started. The Aitzer P20 Plus is a 20 watt blue diode laser cutter and engraver. It is an open frame benchtop laser engraver with a max engraving size of 430 by 430 millimeters. The laser module uses four 6 watts 455 nanometer wavelength diode lasers, which are combined with lenses to form the 20 to 24 watt outputs. They produce a visible blue light laser. On top of the laser module houses a cooling fan, which blows through the unit to cool as well as to help blow away the smoke. The fan is very powerful, but it is also very loud. More on that in a bit. The lenses are surrounded by the air assist hood, which can be removed to access the lens. At the bottom of the laser module is a protective cover and glass. Aitzer says that the glass filters out 97% of ultraviolet rays and is also flame retardant. Around the back of the laser module is the magnetic focus arm. To focus the laser, flip down the arm, unscrew the large knob at the back of the module, slide down the arm to the surface you are engraving, and then tighten the knob. This makes it extremely quick and easy to focus. The focusing arm magnets seem to have received an upgrade from the P10, as these magnets held it firmly in place. One of the drawbacks is that accessing the lens for cleaning can be a bit inconvenient. It requires removing four screws to take off the protective cover and the air assist nozzle. However, the air assist system does a fantastic job of keeping the lens clean. After extensive testing, there was only a small buildup that was easily wiped away. The laser module sits on the X and Y axis gantry, which is composed of V-slot wheels that ride inside the extruded aluminum frame and is moved by timing belts connected to the motors. While the gantry has end stops for the minimum distance, it lacks end stops for the maximum distance, which could result in the gantry colliding with the frame. Moving towards the front, the control box and touchscreen display can be found. The control box has inputs for power, USB, micro SD card, and an emergency stop switch. It's worth noting that there is the emergency stop latch that immediately cuts all power to the laser in case of an emergency. The touchscreen is magnetic and attaches to the control box, with magnets inside of the control box, and is used to select cut files from the SD card for offline engraving. Unfortunately, the display is not very useful unless you are cutting from the SD card, as it doesn't display any other options or controls otherwise. The air assist system includes an air compressor, a hose that connects to the laser module, and a power splitter cable that connects to the P20's power supply. The air compressor is manually controlled, and it has a single knob on the top that turns the compressor on and off and adjusts the airspeed. The hose connects it to the port at the top of the laser module, and the compressed air exits through the hood. Air assist is a valuable feature, particularly when cutting wood and leather, as it helps to clear away soots and enhance the cuts. It also allows for deeper and faster cuts without discoloring the surrounding material. At higher flow rates, the compressor can be a little loud, but it is covered up by the cooling fan of the laser module. It would be uncomfortable to be around for longer periods of time without hearing protection. The P20 Plus is also compatible with optional accessories like the rotary attachments and honeycomb panels. Since they aren't included by default, I won't go in depth, but if you want to find more information, you can find those sections on my Aitzer P20 combo review. In terms of software, Aitzer provides a free copy of Laser Gerbil and a trial version of Lightburn. While both programs work well, I would recommend investing in a Lightburn license as it is a fantastic piece of software. Both programs can connect to the Aitzer P20 via USB, or users can save the G-code for offline engraving using the touchscreen. Aitzer also provides a Lightburn machine config file, but unfortunately does not offer a pre-built material library. However, Aitzer does provide a helpful reference PDF that contains speeds and feeds for a variety of materials. This can be useful when working with materials for the first time, or trying to achieve specific results. Most of the examples shown later in this video use the material settings from this PDF. Interestingly, one of the examples in the PDF show the Atom Stack logo, a competing laser cutter manufacturer. I thought I'd point that out. They also have an Aitzer mobile app for creating and sending engraving files to the laser. However, just like in my Aitzer P10 review, the app failed to connect to the Wi-Fi of the P20. So unfortunately, I could not verify how well that mobile app works. The assembly of the Aitzer P20 was a breeze. Everything arrived well packed, with the belts and motors already assembled and the cables nicely wrapped at the correct lengths. 
The kit comes with ball and allen wrenches, which makes it easier to work with at strange angles. Assembly involves simply screwing on the four frame pieces, screwing in the x-axis, adding the legs, tightening the y-axis rod, and sliding in the laser module. Cable management was a cinch with the included brackets. The air assist system was already completely assembled, and I just needed to run the air hose to the laser module and use the adhesive brackets to hold it in place. Overall, the assembly process took 20 minutes, and the full color instructions were clear and easy to follow. I believe anyone would be able to assemble this laser without difficulty. So let's take a look at how well the Acer P20 Plus can cut and engrave. The P20 Plus is incredible for cutting and engraving woods. I was cutting 3mm plywood consistently at 600mm a minute, more than double the speed I'd normally use for my 10 watt laser cutters. Some high power diode lasers have a problem where the individual diodes are not aligned correctly, causing the width of the laser to be wider than expected. My kerf test showed a 0.076 millimeter kerf for well-fitting finger joints. That means that their diodes are pretty accurately aligned and fits exactly within Acer's advertising. The Air Assist does a great job at enhancing the cuts, pushing away the smoke and preventing flare-ups. These living hinge cuts are beautiful and every cut was accurate and consistent. Engraving also works well. You'll want to find the sweet spot between speed and power versus the contrast of the image you are engraving, but I was happy with the results of the picture of my dog. The machine's motion is also very accurate. I got great results regardless if I was engraving horizontally, vertically, or even diagonally. Moving on, blue diode lasers cannot cut clear acrylics, but it does an excellent job with opaque acrylics. My example keychain turned out great, and I was impressed with the cut speeds during my testing. Leather engravings worked great. Nice dark engraving, and between the air assist and the cooling fan, there was no darkening around the edges from smoke. Slate is another big win for the P20. Engravings are nice and consistent, and I have a feeling that I could continue to bump up the speed and power and still maintain this kind of quality. Now the P20 has a trick up its sleeve, what Acer calls the magical color engraving. Due to the power of the laser, Acer says that the P20 can produce a wide variety of colors on stainless steel. By varying the power and the line interval, it produces oxides of different shades. In my testing, I got blues, browns, and oranges, along with blacks and grays. A neat trick for sure, but it would take a little bit more dialing in to get the range of colors that Acer advertises. Along with stainless steels, you can also engrave anodized aluminum. You'll want to turn down the power though, as with my test at 20% power, I was still getting warping of the aluminum business cards. Now that we've seen how well the P20 Plus can work, let's talk about the main negative in my eyes, the noise. Everything about this laser engraver is loud. The P20 Plus seems to use the same stepper motor drivers as the P10, and in my review of that laser, I mentioned just how loud these stepper motor drivers are. The P20 also adds in a louder cooling fan on top of that. And then when you combine it with the air assist compressor, the noise level is louder than I can stand to be around for more than a few minutes. If you are in a shop environment and have hearing protection around, then that might not be a big issue for you. However, in a home shop, that noise level may or may not be a deal breaker. In conclusion, the Acer P20 Plus builds upon the great foundation set by its little brother, the P10, and adds on a powerful 20 watt laser. I was very impressed with the quality of the cuts and engravings. The increased power means faster and deeper cuts, which could make quite the difference if time is money. I also appreciate that the P20 Plus is compatible with the accessories for the rest of Acer's P-Series lasers, such as the honeycomb panels, extension kits, and rotary attachments. If you can handle the noise, then the P20 Plus would be a great addition to your shop. The Acer P20 Plus normally retails for around $1,200 US dollars. At the time of recording, they currently have a $350 sale until May 1st, 2023, bringing that sale price down to an outstanding $850 US dollars. Even if you miss the sale, I think that the P20 is competitively priced at the $1,200 MSRP if you are in the market for a high-powered diode laser engraver. So thank you for watching my review of the Acer P20 Plus. I have links in the description if you want to find more information. While you are here, why not check out my review of the Acer P10? It's a very similar laser engraver with less powerful laser at a much lower cost. Or check out any of my other laser engraver reviews. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.